Hello everyone, in today's video we are going to cover chapter 11, section 2, areas of parallelograms and triangles. After studying this section, you'll be able to find the areas of parallelograms and find the areas of triangles. So the area of a parallelogram. Many areas can be found by a cut and paste method. So for example, to find the area of a parallelogram with base B and altitude H, we can do this. So I can cut along my height and then paste it on the other side. By doing so, that gives me a rectangle. And we know the area of a rectangle is base times height. So theorem 100 gives us the area of a parallelogram is equal to the product of the base and the height, where B is the length of the base and H is the height. Remember, the base is always perpendicular to the height. Now the area of a triangle, the area of any triangle can be shown to be one half the area of a parallelogram with the same base and height. So theorem 101 gives us the area of a triangle is equal to one half the product of a base and the height or altitude for that base, where B is the length of the base and H is the altitude. Looking at some examples, problem one, find the area of each triangle. So example A, I have a height of 10 centimeters and a base of 15 centimeters. So I know area of a triangle is one half base times height. So I will have the area equal to one half times the base of 15 times the height of 10. I know one half times 15 times 10 is 75. So the area of this triangle is 75 centimeters squared. Looking at example B, I have a height of 8 millimeters and a base of 7 millimeters. Again, area of a triangle, one half base times height. So I'm given a base of 7 and a height of 8. So 1 half times 7 times 8. I know the area then would be 28 millimeters squared. Looking at problem 2, find the base of a triangle with altitude 15 and area 60. So if I draw a diagram here, I'll draw my triangle. Now I'll drop an altitude from a vertex and that altitude is 15. My total area is 60. Well, I know, again, area of a triangle, one half base times height. So I'm not given the base. So area would be 60 times one half times my height of 15 times my base B. Now, one half times 15 is 7.5. So 60 will equal 7.5 B. Dividing by 7.5, I will get a base of 8 units. Problem 3, find the area of a parallelogram whose sides are 14 and 6 and whose acute angle is 60. So if I look at parallelogram A, B, C, D, notice I have a base of 14, but I'm not given a height. So I need to find my height. So if I drop an altitude from vertex B, notice... I will now have a right angle, and I have a 30, 60, 90 triangle, where AB, 6, is my hypotenuse. So that would mean 2X would equal 6, so X is 3. So the side opposite the 60 degree angle would then be 3 root 3, which would be my height. So now I have the area of a parallelogram being base times height. I have a base of 14 and a height of 3 root 3. 14 times 3 root 3 would give me an area of 42 root 3 units squared. Problem 4. Find the area of a trapezoid WXYZ. So notice in this figure, trapezoid WXYZ, if I were to drop an altitude from vertex X to let's say point E, it now breaks up my trapezoid into two right triangles and a rectangle. So the area of this trapezoid would be my two right triangles added to my rectangle. So I can divide this trapezoid, find the area of each different part, add them together, and that will give me the area of the total trapezoid. So let's find the area of the rectangle first. 
notice I have length xy as 18, which would mean length ea would also be 18. My altitude xe is the same length as ya, which would be 12. So the area of this rectangle would be 18 times 12, which is 216 units. Now if I find the area of the right triangle WEX, I know I have a hypotenuse of 13 because my right angle would be from my altitude. I have a height of 12 and my length WE would be 5 because 5, 12, and 13 is my Pythagorean triple. So the area of triangle WEX would be 1 half times 5 times 12, which would give me 30 units. So now I want to find the area of my last right triangle, YAZ. Notice I have a hypotenuse length of 15 and a altitude of 12. I can use the Pythagorean theorem to find length AZ. This is a Pythagorean triple, a modification of 3, 4, 5, so length AZ is 9. So the area of triangle YAZ would be 1 half times 9 times 12, which gives me 54 units. Now the area of this trapezoid, again, is the area of my rectangle added to my two triangles. So the area of this trapezoid will be 216 units plus 30 units plus 54 units, which will give me a total area of 300 units squared. In this lesson we learned the area of a parallelogram is defined as area equals base times height, and the area of a triangle is defined as area equals one half base times height. That's a wrap on this video. We'll see you in the next one.